Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video is a look at this magic black box of tricks. It looks like some kind of squid or octopus with all these wires and connectors, but it actually represents one of the coolest projects that's been going on on our Discord server. If you remember that, you may already know Chris, and this here is his baby. It represents the culmination of almost a couple of years now of hard work. And it brings to reality a concept that um, quite a lot of people were looking into. Certainly, I was looking into early on with road legal lighting. And I'm really excited to get my hands on this because um, I'm gonna be able to provide some feedback to Chris as he looks to make this into essentially like, like a commercial product. Um, so what is it? Uh, in a nutshell, it's a circuitry box that will help you wire your electric bike or light electric vehicle with turn signals, lights, horns, basically everything you need to make your vehicle compliant with road regulations. And I guess standards can vary with regulation, but at a minimum, you tend to need things like high low beam headlights, uh, turn signals, at least on the rear, warning lights or hazard lights, brake lights, triggers for brake lights, license plate lighting, horn, and tail lights. And getting all of those things and then doing the individual wiring for them can be pretty tricky and time consuming. And it's something that you wanna have as neat as possible for any kind of inspection. And really you wanna have everything power on and function all at once because it's gonna look much better than having a rat's nest of wires with multiple switches or different devices operating on different voltages. So if we have a look inside of this, uh, you can see that it's basically, you have a circuit board and a whole bunch of connectors. And what this allows you to do is hook it up to a bunch of peripherals that you can choose um, and you can pick what you want to use. Oh, hi Dando, that's really, useful for you, thank you. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, what it lets you do is hook up your different peripherals, um, like switches and lights, and then have them work seamlessly from one 12 volt power supply unit. And all you have to do is get the peripherals you want and then follow the wiring instructions to get them routed to the correct terminals here and on the back of the circuit board all the individual wiring to push things in the right direction to get switches to activate where they need to um, is there. There's also, um, this is quite cool, this is uh, a surround that goes around the egg rider um, and when that part's wired in it will give you a visual confirmation of your turn signals, um, whether the system's powered on and uh, high low beams um, as well on here and you just have to hook that into this and then that will automatically activate when you use the switch for the turn signals. Um, there are like a myriad of different wires and lights and signals that you can buy. Um, with this box though, there is an existing list of peripherals that are confirmed to work and there's a few QR codes that you can scan and that will then give you a list of what is confirmed to work for sure and then you can just order those parts. So if you've ordered a switch and a horn unit, you can know that they're gonna work with this unit. Um, this box that I have here has been pre-wired with uh, lots of HIGO connectors and lots of uh, XT style connectors. Um, and I now have uh, a bunch of pigtails here as well. So I can make my own lights or I could use these to rewire lights that I buy in. Uh, but what you could also do if you wanted to, um, is just have a blank box and then wire everything, you know, cut to length and wire everything directly into that box. Um, and I have a bunch of different things that I wanna try and play about with because I wanna help Chris to get this to work as seamlessly as possible uh, as he moves towards making this into a, into a commercial product. I'm certainly not amazing with electronics. So I think the, the feedback that I can give him will be quite valuable because then any kind of pitfalls that I fall into, we can then eliminate as this as this moves forward. Like one of the one of the big goals with our community is to develop like the grey area between 
electric bicycles and larger electric vehicles um, because we believe that getting people moving in light electric vehicles which use far less resources to build run and maintain yeah are still viable in terms of being comfortable and usable uh, is something that, that's very important and hopefully this box of tricks here is something that will greatly help people be able to do that and also be compliant with with regulations both now and and both both in the future um, so thanks very much for watching uh, if you're interested in this uh, there's a direct link to Chris's part on the discord and you can post questions on there for him he's going to be monitoring this video so if you have questions you can also post in the comments section um, if you want to join discord you're most welcome to be part of that community and there'll be links for that as well at the bottom of the video um, thanks very much for watching um, i'm excited by this and hopefully everybody else will be too um, Thank you very much for everybody that, that directly joined and supported the channel. It's, it's really helpful and useful and helps make these videos possible. And I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.